Okay, hello everyone. Um, this is Tony Parsons, um, artist on the hill. I'm going to do a really quick sketch today. Um, I'm going to be painting a super tanker, which is a, well, a car carrier, which is a really, really ugly big square ship. Um, it's going to be a very fast painting, so I'm using this old painting that I'm not interested in um, as an a sort of interesting underpainting, I suppose, and hopefully bits of it will shine through and give a kind of weird and slightly random look to the super tanker I'm painting. So, uh, really, everything about today, this is just a fast warm up sketch for the, the rest of the day's work. So, hopefully, we can do it, film it all in one hit. I'm not even mildly professional in the filming front, but. Let's have a go at it. It's just getting paint on the canvas in roughly the right place at the moment. So the whole point of today's painting is gonna be values, which is the difference between dark and light. And that's all there is to it. And if you look at, a, at any sort of scene, get the values right, the colors all look after themselves. Um, so what I mean by values is that difference in grey scale. If you look at any scene, you shut your eyes almost all the way until you can barely see anything just through the eyelashes. Um, that cuts out all the colour information in the scene. So I'm mixing paint while I'm talking here. And then using that information, you're just trying to get the difference between dark and light. The colours can sort themselves out. It's a lot of fun to do. I'm interested, I'm painting this big ship because um, I'm rather obsessed with them actually. They're, they're big, ugly old kind of sea. There's an awful lot of them. If you look at marine traffic or something like that um, little web app tells you all the ships that are out there in the channel at the moment you see them from the studio sometimes um, there's an awful lot of them out there you see them in the Solon I saw my first one in the Solon off the back of a ferry I thought was, you know the light catches them because extraordinary they're just absolutely massive great big blocks so they're quite fun to paint. There's not a lot to them. Um, but they carry hundreds and hundreds of cars importing and exporting, move them around the world. Uh, so this is a very high mixture. Titanium white mostly. It's got a few different yellows in it. Again, so the difference in values, and also we're playing with a bit of colour temperature here. So if your darks are cold, plum colours, um, blues, purples, whatnot, then your highlights need to be warm, reds, oranges. So I've chosen a reference photo here taken at sunset. That blend there. So as I say, this is really fast. Let's get a real bit of that high shine. So this is going to be mostly titanium white, a little dab of my yellowy mix. There's a bit of cad yellow, mostly titanium white, a little bit of uh, Donko Rose, new colour, and a bit of Michael Harding, uh, deep yellow lake. Uh, mostly I'm using sea whites, um, sort of work a day inexpensive spectrum colours. Uh, there's a bit of everything in here. So that's my high white. And a little thought on the perspective there as well. But 
the superstructure on the bridge as well. So I'm trying to ignore the information in the underpainting, all these bits of this campsite nonsense that was on here. So once I've got the values roughly sketched in, um, let's get a bit of sky on because that's quite distracting now. Uh, so fairly purpley old blue. Normally the sky is the highest value in the picture, but I'm not sure it is in this one actually. I think I really want to make this white superstructure pop, so I'm gonna make my sky a little bit darker than usual. And you're chopping out with the sky. I love doing this. So that's really making it leap out a bit now. As I say, this is really fast because it's just a warm up. I don't think I've ever sold any one of these ship paintings, but I like painting ships. So I'm going to keep doing it. Can't remember who said it. Enjoy what you do, but you never work a day in your life. I really ought to write some quotes down for these videos. So I'm sort of looking ship shape now. Get it? Um, again, I'm not interested in the background really. I'm literally just throwing, doing the squinty thing and looking for values. And covering up all that. Uh, paint underneath but really rough brush strokes not very thick paint just yet because I'm just trying to establish where the darks and the lights are and it's all about, you know, constantly going back and checking when those values are right. Wrestling with that green underneath there now. Now I've, as I say, I'm I'm rather obsessed by the colour of white in shadow, um, and I tend to choose subjects now to have an interesting white shadow. Sometimes it will go brown or yellow, which I don't really I'm not so enthusiastic about. But when you get sort of a a yellowy sunset or what have you and quite often the white shade will go bluey purple so I'm painting with three different blues today um, I've got uh, King's Blue Deep uh, which is Michael Harding colour I've got uh, standard Spectrum Cobalt Blue uh, Spectrum uh, Sea Whites rather French Ultramarine and um, this Rather amazing stuff, which is uh, Salo Blue and Zinc White, and again a Michael Harding colour. Introduce some crystals into the mix and do some interesting stuff. And I'm putting a bit of Donka Rose in, which is an old Holland colour, uh, to give me a sort of purple to mess about with. Still, I think I'm a bit on the dark side there. Lift it a little bit. Yeah, that sort of works. Okay, we'll go along with that. The superstructure going in there like chimneys and things, they're just big old blocks. I mean, they're ugly, ugly boats. 
and they're enormous fun to paint with a big flat brush. So the brush is a uh, Pro Arte Polar White. It's got a pattern down the side of this boat. It's like a big V. May or may not help the perspective somewhat. Pretty much it. From now on, it's just a case of bung a bit of reflection in and have some fun with it. It's not going back and establishing darks and lights, really. Two shadows get mixed up a bit then. Yeah, we've probably got a bit of red further aft. Not that red. We're using crimson and alizarin a fair bit up here as well. Right. What we want to do is chop out that uh, water reflection at the back there. Again, paying quite careful attention to the values. So I'm going to have my horizon back of the harbour. edge of the ship so there we have a reflection let's have a stand back and see what's howling about this okay most of that seems to be working in roughly the right place Go back in. Still using just this one inch Pro Art brush. I haven't changed brushes or anything. As I say, as a warm up, it's just a bit of fun, really. There's this side portal where the, uh, the pilot gets on. These are just giant slabs. I mean, they must be a nightmare to steer. If you've ever had a go at driving one, do let me know. I'm used to driving somewhat smaller boats. Uh, 
just revisit some of this white. I'm not sure I want to go any lighter with it really. But I do want the white of the wheelhouse and this is where the perspective has to come in. Top of this white up there. Now I'm going to pick out my high yellow white and wash the brush out. I've just been wiping the brush off. Let's wash the brush out properly. So we're going to be picking out the front of that funnel. Um, and the front of some of the superstructure. So I'm using quite thick that yellowy high white mix here. It's quite syrupy stuff. There's a lot of titanium white in it. It's quite fun now, singing a bit, like a noisy painting. Um, Lost it there. Yeah, we got some nonsense hanging off the roof. And before I put that in, I just want to get another coat over that sky. Just where there's too much of the old painting shining through. Some interest in those in the background. Right. Do you want to put a, put a cloud in? I like the way you get yellow clouds. There's lights coming from over here, so you get. A, thing going on up here. I may take some of my purpley mix and make some of the back of the cloud. There we go. Right, um, so I'm going to dry the brush off a bit. I'm just going to do some of this dangly superstructure sticking off the roof. If I can get it to stick, I might need to put a bit more spirit in it. Get it to let go. It's painting on very wet painting. Okay. The rougher you leave it, the more real it looks. Weird, eh? Concentrate on that, getting that light on there. In fact, I'm going to use the palette knife if I can find a clean one. There we go. Just to get that highlight to stick on there. So this is the highest white I'm going to use. using the same brush. Right, let's let's try and formalise that line a bit. Well, I'm gonna 
find a highlight here. Just to bring that out a bit, and then we're gonna stick these portholes in properly. And then we've got some highlights of the white bits in there. shining through the bottom deck there as well, it's interesting. Any more darks to go back in? So we could re-examine of the perspective here as well. If they got a rounded front end, it messes with the perspective, so I'm crying to stand back. Yeah, probably about there actually. We need a life raft in it. Hmm? Covered up the dark then. There we go. One life raft. Let's have those black bits of funnel sticking up there. dark bits on there, right? I think we're done. There we go, a car carrier. Painted in 23 minutes as a warm-up exercise.